Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5 The Royal. In the last episode, we have been told by Kamoshida in the real world that we're going to get expelled. Myself, Ryuji, and Mishima. M Mishima? Whatever his name is. Uh, are going to get expelled by the time the next teacher board meeting is up. So, Mona has brought us in here, or Morgana in that case, but her codename, or his, I keep thinking it's a her, I don't know, it's probably a dude, um, has brought us here into Kamoshida's castle once again, uh, for us to learn about how to steal someone's heart. Also, Takamaki came in with us, and we kicked her out, because, uh, no girls allowed, only boys. Alright. And we learned how to kidnap Personas as well. If we go Persona, you can see we have Arson the Fool. But well, it's actually good because we need a full persona to deal with Igor. And then we have a lover persona. Uh, hopefully we can get a persona that lines up with our confidant. Um, Ryuji, I'm assuming Chariot might be a horse. Potentially. Which would be really nice. So yeah, we'll try and get that. But we already have full and we need, um, whatchamacallit, we need a horsey. I think. But no idea. We're still in tutorial mode, though, and we're like eight hours into the game. But, I mean, that's to be expected. It's Persona, man. E yeah. I don't know why, but something feels off about this hallway. There's nothing we can do here right now. Let's try somewhere else. Watch that be the boss room. <laughs> oh, shit. Treasure oh, right. We can farm here. Must be something good inside. Oh, fuck. Please, no. Hello! Oh no! Parental assault by accident. I'm sorry. Blast them! Oh my god, you all suck. Blast! Yeah, shock at him! Oh my god, why are you the worst shot, Ryuji? We actually got them all without taking damage. And that's why having three characters is the best. This is a farming zone, isn't it? I remember this being a farming zone anyway. Oh god. Oh god, what am I doing? Where am I going? How am I doing it? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't this a safe room? Or am I going crazy right now? Hold on. Let's go back down here. This is not a safe room anymore. Oh, or I say anymore, but I remember, um, I remember farming up here back in the day. Or, uh taking on Kamashina's castle. But maybe there's a safe room up ahead. Obviously now you can see all three dots on the Metal Gear Solid Solitaire radar. Um, so we gotta be a little careful about our decision I'm making. Yeah, we can tank these guys. It'd be nice if we uh, go first though. Show me your true form. There we go. All right. The first move all right. This guy is weak to Joker's lightning ability or whatever the heck, so let's just weaken him down a little bit. And we'll try and interrogate him. This might kill him, though. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. That was incredible, Joker! Ow, 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 what the hell are you doing? I want to talk, man. I would like you to let me your power. Yeah, fine. So that's your move. Then I guess I'll talk first. I'll decide if I'm going to help you after. Give me a break. I was only passing by, and you roughed me up real bad. What's your deal, anyhow? Something bad happened in your life or something, Sonny? Hmm. I have no idea. Dirty two-horned beast, it's called. I got bad luck. Shut up. It's not like that. Hmm. It's not like that. Hey. Hey. You sure were acting crazy back there. Come on. You're carrying weapons. You looking to brawl? Hey. Hey. Are you treating me this way because of how I look? What's wrong with the way I look, huh? You tempt people. Oh. Tempt, huh? I don't know. I say, those who got tempted always got a choice. Hey. I like that way of thinking. Hey, I can't believe it. I remember now. I am thou, thou art I. 
I'm no shadow from this place. I used to be living in that there sea of the human soul. From now on, call me Bicorn. No need for honorifics, Sonny. Gain the power of Bicorn. I am thou, thou art I. So a measly two EXP. I thought it was you uh, didn't get EXP at all for doing this, but I guess you get two. Which is definitely, I'm pretty sure not what you're supposed to get, but whatever. You also get zero money, but that's all right. We got the persona, that's the most important. All right. And if we want to level our personas a bit better, it sounds like we are gonna want to do this. It's a hermit, really. I'm surprised by that. These guys are weak to lightning and pretty much okay against everything else, so they're not too dangerous to have. The Fool is quite weak to darkness, or sorry, to light, I should say. Uh, he is very strong against darkness, and he's also weak to ice. And then Pixie, who is weak to two elements, both darkness and ice, and uh, also weak to range attacks. And then... They are strong against lightning and holy. I'm gonna call it holy because I play Final Fantasy and I'm a dirty Final Fantasy nerd that doesn't understand skill points at any other gosh darn RPG. How does it work? Can't everything just be the same? How dare they? My SPs though. Range attack 50 times eight. Interesting. Look at my pathetic social stats. There's a new game plus in the game, so if you want to get like a oh, level five, I'm pretty sure you have to go into new game plus. I really have no idea how you're supposed to like get maxed out stats before new game plus. Um, because they seem to get them really slowly for all I know. Tactics. All right. Um, hmm. I don't really know if I need to switch my persona around yet. So I wonder how Persona XP works. Do I get XP for all of my pets, or do I get them only for one at a time? Like the currently the currently equipped boy. Hey Ryuji, you're in the way. Alright, here we go. I'll reveal your true form. I wonder who voices Joker. Hello. Persona! It's cool, definitely Jack. overkill. Come. Some other way. All right. Um. Persona. F it. Looking Serves cool, right. Joker. <laughs> okay, guys. This is so overkill on the SP. Oh, they died. Sweet. All right. If you get that animation, it means they die. Good. They deserve it. <laughs> They're five XP so each. Easy, Whoa! Oh yeah, never mind. Oh, I gotta be careful. If I sprint, they might notice me. Huh. Damn it! Frontal assault is bad. Don't do it. Hello. This is why this is so easy to farm here. Because all we have to do now is this. Oh my God! What? You guys are weaklings. All right, let's do it again. Just stay there. Let's go. There you go. All you have to do is all attack him twice. <laughs> I'm a moido. Hey, good job, Ryuji, who is way farther behind than I thought he would be. No wonder he's missing. Hell yeah! Oh yeah, he knows how to lunge at people now. Which is a light physical attack. Oh, you have zero as well, you nerd. Apparently, uh, Captain Kid is a reference to potentially One Punch Man? Or it's also in One Punch Man? I don't know. Not One Punch Man, what am I talking about? One Piece! Just because they both start with the name One, right? That's how you get confused. I never actually watched One Piece. I've seen it every now and again when I was much younger. Like, it would be on TV at one point. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why does this guy have crazy elastic arms? It's weird. Okay. That's all it takes for me. All right. At least the um. At least it went down. At least the security went down. I should say. Silver daggers. Oh. What a score, Joker. 
Why not give it a try now? Time to change it up. All right. Uh, wow, did he already just equip it? Like, just like that? He did! Huh. Wow, look at the difference in attack and accuracy. Even there's a 2% chance to miss now. Unless the game, the way this game works is, um, enemies also have a dodge factor. Let's take a look at our stats again. Nope, this looks like you have a defense rating. Now, if defense is a dodge ability, then we have a much lower chance than I think to hit, but I don't think that's the case. I think defense is defense and it just lowers damage taken. Typically physical defense taken, I'm assuming. Kind of crazy, it's only a three stat game and then it's just all magic after that. But who knows? I don't know, man. I just work here. And now we begin we begin the the farm route. <laughs> it's a good place to farm, all things considered. I'll reveal your true form. Whoa, what the hell is that? Take our heart. We just got some weird in-game achievement. I don't need I don't have any idea what that's all about. Anyway, we just gotta blap blap them. You see why I mean, though, it's easy to farm. Because you got infinite ammo for these plebs, and then you get all this XP and money. PXC. Okay, well, there you go. So this is currently equipped character, right? So now Pixie has gained a new ability. The so Daya restores low amounts of HP, which just came with uh, Pixie. But also comes with now Patra, which cures Dizzy, Forget, Sleep, and Hunger. Cool. Kind of like Asuna, but, you know, there's probably a lot more status ailments than that. And her energy and agility go up. Oh, endurance, I'm assuming. Endurance. Let's try and get all our personas to, like, a high level. A higher level. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Show me your true form. You? Oh, good. I don't want to progress just because I'm scared. Oh, a new persona. Okay, uh, y'all are weak to something. Um, order, analysis. No weaknesses I can see. Really? Well, we haven't used lightning yet on these guys, or holy. But I'm doubting they're weak to holy. I think they're weak to fire. But we don't have fire. That kind of sucks. So we really don't have any way to do that. That sucks. Unless... <gasps> Perhaps. What is this? Decreases attack for one foe for three turns. Hmm. Well, have we tried lightning on him already? Let's go. Not this. Sorry, I, I didn't pay attention. All right, we still haven't tried lightning. We gotta try it. Uh, oh, he's strong against lightning. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fucking 91 damage. Good job, Skull. Just so we get the uh, the points out of the way, right? Obviously, if you capture the persona, then you learn everything about it uh, immediately. Which is actually super valuable. Just to capture the persona once, even if you toss it away after. Assuming it's probably valuable to have at least one additional persona slot. At all given times. These guys have a lot of HP. <laughs> I know we could use Joker to lock this guy down, but maybe we can take the hit. <laughs> maybe we can't take the hit. Maybe taking a hit is not the right choice here. We're gonna attack. Oh, really? He goes that fast, eh? Wow, he is quite resistant to Joker's knife. That or we going to do a maximum of how much health he has left. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Yeah, about that, Morgana. That hurt, like, a shitload. Enough for me to have to heal two characters, which costs a grand total of uh, six SP now. Thankfully, Joker also has SP. But uh, I think the mechanic here... For us, uh, farming-wise, should be 
Uh, I don't know, something along the lines of... We kill him with Morgana first and then knock the other guy out? Or, yeah, we knock the one guy down. And then we kill the other guy? Can you can you get the... Oh, I wonder if you have to be doing the knockout first. Can we actually climb through this? What happens if we do that? We can just leave? Oh, and then we can I'll save it. This. <gasps> Very nice. All right. Very nice. Good spot to save. So this is our safe room. The outside. The outside world. In that case, I'm going to farm for a bit, guys. So uh, I'm going to keep running that room over and over again. And try and hit level 10. It shouldn't take too long, but uh, might as well not bore you to death. But that's the farming route that I'm taking. Hey, guys. So one thing I actually forgot to do is I need to capture one of these guys here. These uh, fireball dudes. Uh, and then we could potentially capture one of the plant dudes as well. I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, so, Joker, we've just unlocked his ability to use wind. So we're going to try and rip apart at least one of the dudes first so we can get some extra EXP. Let's go. And then we're going to switch our character over. Oh, wait. I thought we had Garo. Oh, my goodness. Well, I've already messed up. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, well. We'll keep one alive. Let's weaken him. Hopefully he doesn't nuke us. Guard. Maybe we'll attack our boy. Yes! I wonder if that's actually like in the code to be like, attack guarding character. All right, now we'll hit him with guard. Oh wait, this might just kill him. Shit! Well, listen, mistakes were made, bro. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Once I find another one, we'll capture him, I promise. I guess I'll just use um, Morgana for it. For some reason, I thought we had we had wind already, but as I've only hit level five on the horse. I didn't realize he needed to hit level six. I'm a derp. BRB. All right. I guess I didn't even need to cut away, <laughs> hilariously, uh, because this is the literal next fight that we just did. Also, tells us what level they are. I didn't even notice that. Level two, crypt dwelling pyromaniac. All right. Uh, so let's hope it doesn't insta kill all of them. Ah oh, man. That sucks. It insta-gibs them all. We're too powerful, you guys. Damn it. What a waste of SP. No, we're too strong. We're too powerful. All right. I can't believe it. I can't, I can't believe it. Show me your truth. Well, I apologize. At least we are getting lots of money for doing this. Of course they're gonna give us this again. But yeah, this is how I normally deal with them. I just uh, blap for days. The most logical thing to do, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go back to farming. And be upset that I can't get them because I'm too strong and I'm one-shotting them with Morgana. Maybe once I get my horse man to be leveled uh, to level 6, maybe we can avoid one-shotting them with a slightly weaker persona, potentially? But I'm not holding my breath. But guys, we will find harder difficulty versions of these personas. It just would have been nice to be able to get them a little bit earlier. But we're too powerful. We're too strong. We're too great. All right, BRB. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is what happens when you get smacked by a monster because I wasn't paying attention and I was kind of looking off screen. Uh, you get surrounded. We're surrounded by enemies. If an enemy takes your party by surprise, you may find yourself at a disadvantage at the start of battle. In this situation, not only will the enemy gain a preemptive attack, but you will also be unable to escape the battle. <laughs> oh god. Okay, good. Well, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Get him! Kill them all! And that's how you deal with a preemptive attack. You just take it on the chin. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay. Uh, also, I upgraded my horsey. Um, he is now level six. He's actually almost level uh, seven. And if you're wondering how I'm doing this, basically I'm holding up the horsies uh, and then I'm asking them to lend me their power, which is usually a pretty significant EXP boost. Also, I have him equipped. So not only does he get natural EXP, 
same as uh, our characters, but he's also getting like a huge chunk of VXP from the bicorns we're fighting, which is very, very useful. Uh, and the only reason I'm leveling it is because I think the higher level your personas, uh, the better time you're going to have when fighting tougher enemies. Unfortunately, we're not running across a bunch of fools. Or I'm assuming if you run across a fool, then you can put it into arson. Because I don't know, like, is arson even like a common enemy ever at all? I never ever want to sacrifice arson though. Like, I feel like a monster if I were to do that. Look how cool he is, man. He's badass, bro. I never know. Oh wait, we have backgrounds. I'm being off. Uh, I'm being based off of the main character of Maurice LeBlanc's novels. Wait, that's very specific. LeBlanc's Cafe LeBlanc, Arson Lupin. He appears everywhere and is a master of disguise. He is known to help law-abiding citizens. I'm a law-abiding citizen, apparently. Let's read the other ones. I didn't even realize this. Friendly fairies of the forest that tend to hide from humans. They like to play tricks on the last people. It is said they are the souls of the dead, unbaptized children. Oh, uh, oh god. That's haunting. I guess that makes sense for pixies, though. We're thinking of, like, even, uh, like, Dark Tales of the Manga Berserk or something like that, right? Hermit! An evil creature with two curving horns. It represents impurity, unlike the unicorn, said to be derived from Reem in the Bible. Another legend says that it feeds off of disloyal husbands. Damn, don't be disloyal, boys. Don't be disloyal. Don't do it. All right, I'm going to go back to farming. All righty then. My dudes. <laughs> I am back. I have farmed for like an hour and a half. And uh, I don't want to keep going. <laughs> but I have done level 10 on me. Level 10 on Morgana. Where Yuji is about to hit level 9. Because he's super far behind. But he'll make it at some point. And under Personas... I leveled Arson kind of the least, considering uh, I wanted to make sure that Bicorn was ready to go and Pixie. Pixie doesn't have any new abilities coming up, which is weird. Um, the only reason she has a lot of XP here is just because I was able to convert a lot of other Pixies into EXP for her, even though she wasn't usually equipped, unless I needed to knock out a Bicorn. Bicorn's pretty beefy, and you can still keep going and get another passive, like increased chance of critical hits. And yeah, really, all, all I'm trying to do right now is get Arson leveled so he can get his adverse resolve. Excuse me, uh, I just ate some food. Uh, increases critical rate when surrounded. All right, so that's pretty much everything. So yeah, I'll uh, run through the farming route one last time. But uh, instead of actually going back, I will complete it and move forward. Um, uh, the only SP you really have to spend in this, for in this route is when you have the two horses. Uh, the two bicorns. Um, and also if you take damage. Which is usually from the two bicorns, or you missed horribly on a hit. Show me and the your game's being form. a big jerk. So this is a single bicorn, so we go for melee, because he seems to be a lot more resistant to range attacks. There we go, that wipes him out. They're worth 5 XP each. It's not really worth spending the SP on the single, I feel to get the hold up and go for the Bicorn XP, or you could try and ask for an item which could potentially give you a revival bead. I got three of them okay. when farming. Oh yeah, by the way, my security's way up because I got ambushed three times in a row because I'm a crazy person and uh, don't know how to avoid combat when I'm looking at a video on the side of the screen. And then they just kind of all chained together and I got three ambushes on myself uh, in a row because I'm very super smart. Um, regardless though, what was I trying to say? Hmm. Right, there we go. I was trying to show you the items. Right, okay. So under items, we got revival beads, which are revives one ally to 50% HP, which is actually really good considering the restore... Uh, the medicine only restores 50 HP to one aisle, I, uh, one character. So it's still actually a pretty good health boost. It may uh, at some point be more worthwhile to just revive a dude than to use medicine. You never know. You never know. Because potentially, if you have 200 health, you can get 100 health back in one revival bead and be brought back to life. You never know, man. 
Anyway, we gotta try and assassinate these dudes. Oh, come on! Alright, at least this is a normal hit. These guys we can't get unless we get fire, and obviously... We can't get fire because we're a little too strong. But that's okay. Very easy blaps. Easy blaps all day. And then a level 9 Ryuji. New skill acquired because he leveled up Captain Kidd at the same time. Which increases attack for one ally for three turns. The next will be headbutt, medium physical damage to one foe, medium chance of forget. On foe, apparently. So you can actually make an enemy forget what they were do. I don't even know what forget does, actually. I <laughs> shouldn't even try. Okay. At least the uh, security rating does go down. Um, let's go to system tutorial? Maybe there will be something on uh, specific abilities. Potentially. No, not really. Weaknesses? No. Yeah, nothing really explaining it yet. Maybe in the future we'll get some sort of detail on exactly what that is. Forget. Or if someone in the comments would like to tell me, please let me know. Not too worried about combat, you know, spoilers. Obviously, I don't want to know what upcoming fights are going to be. But, like, an ability like Forget, I wouldn't mind knowing exactly what it is. That was just the end of my power. Who's next? A spectacular victory. A spectacular victory, my dude. All right, there we go. We are all set. Okay. Level 10, Joker. Level 10, Morgana. Level 9, Ryuji. So let us move on and see what else there is to find. Hey, look! Oh, it's another hazy-looking door. This is that thing. Uh, what was it called again? A safe room? We can discuss our strategy inside. There are a lot of places even I don't know about in here. All right, well, at least we get a safe room over here, but well. This is that place from earlier. What's up with this app? Just said the word Sakamoto said, and I ended up... Princess? Huh? Princess! Ah! Uh-oh. Aren't there even more shadows here than before? Just getting this far has been a real pain in my ass. It's all because you guys provoked Kamoshida, you know. Still, he seems to be awfully on guard. Anyways, how are we supposed to steal that treasure thing? Don't be so hasty. First, we'll need to secure an infiltration route. A uh, what? A path to the treasure's location. But honestly, I think we'll need a little more manpower in order to accomplish this. At the very least, one more person would be nice. Hey, you say you don't have your memories and all, but somehow you still know about that kind of stuff? Do you think this thing's really got amnesia? Hmm. I believe in Mona. At least you're a step above that moron. Don't call me a moron! You sure talk big, but what if it turns out you're just some stray cat in the end? That can't be! Still, why was a princess in such an odd place? Princess? I could have sworn we were pursuing the readings of an intruder. It doesn't matter now. We must take her back to King Kamashita. Who's this princess they're talking about? I should probably look into this. And yet another question goes unanswered. Stuff like the castle and that navigation app are mysterious, <laughs> but Morgana's got them both beat. Mm, remember, code names. Oh, crap, sorry. What was I again? Oh, yeah, uh, Skull. <sighs> this is bad. That was fast. Your friend, Lady On. She's been taken by shadows! Wait, what? We sent her home earlier! If Lady On does indeed have the app, it could be possible. Oh no! Don't tell me it got put on hers just like mine! Damn it! We let her out for her own safety and she just came back in by herself! That's not good. Damn it! Damn it! We don't got time to be taking a break. We need to hurry and rescue her. All right, everyone. I'll just add this. 
that's going to be a perfect time to wrap this episode up. Thank you very much for watching. You're going to see the time bump up a lot because I AFK to go eat some dinner. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode where we go take a look to see what happened to, K to Kamaki. I'm Akabane 101. Check out some of the other content on the channel, an hour and a half of content every single day, and I will see you guys next time. Every episode comes out at 12 a.m. Eastern Time every single day. Hope to see you there.